and welcome everybody to our bonus feature section. We're starting things out with some spectacular imagery here from the website apod.nasa.gov. It's the astronomy picture of the day, which is actually a video here showing one hour of the activity of Comet Leonard. Quite nice there. You can go check it out yourself at apod.nasa.gov. And the next bonus feature is the total electron content forecast showing you the most likely places on planet Earth for GPS errors. We are seeing a little bit of chaos here and we can expect to see some unexpected GPS errors at nighttime here as we are currently experiencing the arrival of a high-speed coronal hole wind stream. So expect to see some GPS errors at night in some inopportune places. Total electron content forecast showing you the total electron content between your GPS satellite and your handset. In other words, the free electrons in the plasma sphere in the inner Van Allen belt. Here's a diagram of what we're talking about. Distances are shown here in miles. Your GPS satellite is at a, an altitude of about 12,500 miles. So we see some significant charging hazards here. Moving over the Central Pacific, some surface charging there caused by the lower energy type of relativistic electrons. Surface charging. It could cause some minor communications breakdowns. Keep in mind, geosynchronous satellites are used for a lot of things and typically are in near equatorial orbits. Here's the one-year chart of the electron flux, and we're seeing surprisingly high levels, although we are seeing a dip now. There's the three-day chart, and that coincides with the arrival of the high-speed portion of the coronal hole wind stream that we're currently seeing. We're waiting for the highest speed portion to sort of make its way here. And so the forecast model showing a big dip here in the electron flux, no surprises there. The green boxes of the forecast, the yellow diamonds are lucky charms as well as the observation. Next, the ionosphere. The F layer is located at about 300, 300 kilometers of altitude, and here is the ionogram for the past day, and certainly some high frequency anomalies there in the South Atlantic. We'll also show you the anomaly in megahertz from the 30 day median. Give that a moment to play through. And there's the anomaly gram. So you can see high frequency anomalies showing up here in blue. Some anomalies continue to be centered around the African central, the central portion of the African continent there. You see some wild swings from high to low frequency anomalies there. Again, it's showing anomaly in megahertz from the 30 day median. And we'll go back to the latest image for the ionogram. There's the latest image from the ionogram. That's 12 o'clock universal time in vibrational frequency. And here is the anomaly in megahertz from the 30 day median. Let's continue on to invite all of you to join the Smash Team. Smashonmash.com slash Smash Team. You can find links below the video. You can find links on our homepage as well. We've replaced Patreon with something superior here at the Smash News Network, our own servers. We established our servers in 2019 with the pathetic censorship on Facebook, and it just led to more and more building. Here's a teaser, and this latest post that you're going to see here is indeed publicly visible. So if you head to the site and you click on posts, you'll be able to find this latest uh, update here, correlation of facts. So perhaps have a read on that. Today's featured product is Mensa. These are organized here in order of best selling. So we put these in order of best selling here because Mensa, make Earth not suck again. I'm currently wearing the hat. And it's all about personal responsibility, folks. Mensa, make Earth not suck again. It's up to you. And thanks to everybody who's visited our links, picked up our merch, and so on. Here's a teaser. It's a high-quality polyester hat. It is printed in the U.S., and the print quality is quite high on all of the products. I believe our subscribers will agree. And leave us a comment if you've picked up any of the products. Let other viewers know what you think of them. They're quite durable as well. And let's continue on with additional bonus features. So here's the ground-based solar observatory, part of the National Sunspot Observatory here, located in Cerro Tololo, Chile. And we've got massive filaments here in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. This data only 
about two minutes old. Make it three minutes old. Lots of prominences continue here on the western limb, as you can see there. This is hydrogen alpha, 6,562.8 angstroms. Here's an additional bonus feature. It's the latest intensity gram and latest colorized magnetogram. Oh, there are additional sunspots forming here behind sunspot 2934. That'll be a new group. That'll be sunspot 2937, I believe. Sunspot 2935 is already beta class, capable of producing larger flares. And this is the real star on the star. 2936, that is certainly quite large, certainly capable of producing major flares. There are the magnetic fields of that sunspot. Here's this new group that's just formed recently. A great reminder of how the magnetic environment can suddenly change. And there is sunspot 2935. Next, the NASA goes SUVI imagery. The great wide field imagery here shows prominences in spectacular fashion. And we can see some down here in the southeast, as well as all around the western limb. And you can see some activity there happening also associated with that newly risen group. And I've lost track of the numbers. I'm not going to try to recite them. We'll close out the bonus features segment with some additional close-up imagery of that group. It's the most interesting portion of the sun. 131 angstroms is a great wavelength to view solar flares. We show it regularly when we see activity kick up. So if you see turquoise blue, this greenish this bluish green, greenish blue, I don't know, aqua blue color. Flaring has increased, likelihood of flaring has increased, and there is a coronal hole wind stream. Make sure you watch our previous videos if you haven't. We put out three most days now. We'll close things out with the 304 angstroms ionized helium view. Lots of filaments on the earth facing side of the solar disk. And you can see some prominences and some filamentary collapse and filamentary relocation and destabilization happening there in the northern hemisphere. Thanks for tuning in, and may that solar wind be at your back. Opinions expressed in this video, not necessarily the opinions of Smash News Network, these busted. Name the news.